Today I'm going to explain some restrictions that come with having a dark period and how to overcome them. I've experimented with a bunch of different things that you can do during the dark period and I believe that if I share my experiences with you, your adaptations are going to go more smoothly. In this video we'll go over four main things that you need to consider, so stay tuned to find out what they are. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So this video will be a continuation in our playlist on information about the dark period. And if you haven't seen the other videos, I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already, so we don't miss when we upload more videos on the topic. So the dark period places some quite heavy limitations on us. During the dark period, you should wear red protective glasses to filter out green and blue light, uh, which causes your melatonin levels to be disrupted. Uh, this might seem like an issue because suddenly the whole world is monochromatic. But as long as you aren't doing graphics design or similar tasks, um, that require you to see color, it should be fine. Even if you're doing graphics design, there are some computer softwares that allow you to distinguish between colors even when you are wearing the red protective glasses. Um, but we'll get to that in another video. It's, it's actually quite funny. Uh, when you wear the red protective glasses, the all shows on the TV are going to be child friendly because you don't see any blood. It's the same color as the skin when you're wearing the red glasses. Anyways, uh, what I want you to do here is to prepare. If you have tasks that require you to see color, be sure to complete them outside the dark period. Um, try to make it work, because the gain that you get from polyphasic sleep is so massive. Speaking of red glasses, by the way, they might make your eyes feel weird um, when you start using them. But don't worry, uh, that's just your eyes not being used to them. And after only a few days, you're going to feel so much better when you're wearing them. If you are interested in buying your own red glasses, I have linked a pair in the description that you can check out for yourself, that I also showed in the previous video. So after this video you can go check that out if this interests you. Another issue during the dark period that people practicing polyphasic sleep are going to figure out is that they are built to make you sleepy. So especially during the adaptation, you might have a pretty hard time to stay awake during the dark period. Uh, the issue with this is that you're going to need to juggle a bit and find a balance between staying awake and being energized. Um, you don't want to become too sleepy and fall asleep from doing stationary tasks, um, but you also don't want to be too energized so you don't fall asleep for the next task by, you know, moving around so that you're staying awake. Now how should you go about fixing this? Basically, you should try to do activities that keep that uh, that avoid you being still sitting standing and do something that doesn't require you and your brain power to be that high um, one great example of this that i have used myself is painting during my everyman one adaptation i took on the task of painting a chair that we own because it needed to be done and when i did that I felt really awake and great, and was still able to fall asleep when my time for the nap came. Um, and I, I can highly encourage you to do some similar activities. But I know, there are people who don't want to do that, and that's totally fine. If you're doing work on your computer or homework or something similar that keeps you pretty stationary, um, you're going to want to set off a bunch of alarms that are going to go off during your dark period, uh, so you don't accidentally fall asleep. Set these alarms for around every 20 minutes or so, and if you notice that you start to doze off, be sure to switch activities and do something energizing for a small amount of time. Um, you can go for a night stroll, and uh, cold night air would hopefully wake you up. Or you can instead choose to switch to some more activities that 
like like cleaning the dishes or uh, sorting through drawers in your house or something that keeps you awake. Um, and I want to point out that you shouldn't use the same alarm sound for these 20 minute alarms as you do for either waking up or for reminding yourself to go to sleep. When you have these alarms, they're sending different signals. The, the waking up in the morning alarm is sending your signal to, hey, I'm going to be awake for a long time. Your night alarm is reminding you to pre become sleepy. And the 20 minute alarms want to make you somewhat alert, but not too alert. So we don't want to mix these. Have different sounds for each of these. One for the night, one for waking up after your core, and a couple for your dark period. All with different sounds. Anyways, let's get back to the dark period. So far we've established that during the polyphasic sleep adaptation, you should try to do mentally relaxing activities that keep you awake if possible. Um, if you're doing this and still feel extremely unproductive during the dark period, you might want to reduce the intensity of filtering of your glasses. While we don't really recommend permanently switching over to milder glasses, temporarily doing so might be the best course of action from time to time. Um, and you, because you want to avoid oversleeping if possible, since that's going to ruin your adaptation. Yellow glasses like gunners or a pair of laser protective glasses uh, might come in for these harshest times during your adaptation. So when you're making your nap kit, be sure to include a pair of them just in case they're needed. I'm going to link some of these in the description and you can check out for yourself which ones you'd like to buy. Another thing you want to avoid during the dark period is eating. Food is known to affect the circadian rhythm, uh, which is what we're trying to keep intact. And if you go uh, eat when you're in the dark period, you're sort of doing all that light optimizing work for nothing. Um, some of you might feel like you need to eat around the clock in order to build muscles. But in this case, I strongly suggest you to try to cram in all food during the day. If push comes to shove and you're really hungry and feel like you're going to die if you don't get a bite, that's okay, you can eat a small meal. But don't make it a habit. Really try to make sure that you don't eat during the dark period. Um, after some time of training yourself to fast when it's a dark period, you're not going to be hungry at that time anymore. Also, um, if you're trying to cram in productive work during the dark period, uh, your productivity will go up if you fast, because you don't have those distractions in the fridge that keep you from doing productive work. The last thing you want to avoid during the dark period is exercising intensely. As I said earlier, it might be necessary to move around during the adaptation to stay awake, but you shouldn't really do any sort of weightlifting or actual cardiovascular training. Um, so you want to avoid training during the dark period. And how do you do this? Basically, you schedule your training to be done during the day. It's that simple. Allow the dark period to be a time when you don't eat and you don't exercise, but instead a time where you either clean your house or prepare for the day or do productive work. Your productivity is, by the way, probably going to be really high at this time. With the world around you being asleep, you don't really have many distractions that steal away your attention from doing important tasks. Um, when I was attempting the Everyman 2 schedule, I actually managed to complete 6 to 8 hours of schoolwork during a 2 hour gap in the morning when everyone else was asleep and I was awake. <laughs> but I bet it was pretty crazy for my teachers to find emails from me at 4 in the morning, but hey, what can you do? Okay, that's all for today's video. Please! Tell us in the comments below if you have any additional tips for overcoming the restrictions placed by the dark period. Maybe you have some cool tactics that keep you awake but also allow you to fall asleep at your desired times. Or if you have any other issues that weren't brought up in this video about the dark period, be sure to tell us about them and we might make another video with these issues that you've picked out yourself. 
Okay, be sure to share these things below and I'll see you in the next video. Nap well people! Hey, I'm Akka Hana, an editor on this channel. If this video matters to you, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get the latest info on mastering your sleep. We want to help you work towards the life you want on your terms and in your time. Please consider donating via our secure Ko-fi page as this helps sustain website costs and data gathering efforts across our communities. If you have any questions, check the links below and contact us directly. Thank you.